guys, Gary again with Grant out with the pros on Wave Dancer. Now today we're going to learn the secrets of how these guys catch the big fish faster. Grant, tell me the secret to this lure. Well this lure is really fascinating Mike because it, it, it combines a lot of technology but also simplicity. First of all, just attach the leader to the eye end. And all you do is you drop this to the bottom of the sea and on the drop what will happen is that this flutters and does a sideways jerking motion. And that's the key because this sideways jerking motion pulls the skirt around because it's the skirt that the snappers bite at. Inside those skirts we've got some extra strong hooks. Now we've used skirts and hooks and lures and juku lures from all around the world and we upgrade everything basically because our snapper here have got jaws like no others. They're really tough, really strong. So we've upgraded the hooks, we've upgraded the braid and what we do then is just simply as I say, tie it on there, drop it down the bottom. You'll often get a take of a snapper on the drop because they'll chase this down and, and grab it. You'll just feel a lure shoot out, start winding. But if you do manage to get to the bottom without hooking up, then all you do is a nice slow wind. And what the slow wind is, is just oscillates this up through the water column and the snapper after the octopus. If you don't do the slow wind, a slow wind which is about this sort of speed, just nice and gradual. Mm -hmm. Or you can do a bit of a more of a mechanical jigging where you're just moving the rod with your wind. But this is a much more slower action. This isn't the mechanical flashing as fast as you possibly mm. can. We're talking snapper here that generally feed on the, the first meter or two off the bottom. So what we're looking for is to say just dropping this lure down it has this exciting making this this the skirt look alive on the way down. If you don't hook up then a, either a slow wind or just a little lift and wind so that this is coming up through the water column. Funny enough looking like a bait piece of bait or a fish that's in trouble, maybe an octopus or something coming along, right. and this, that's what the uh, snapper are looking at, all of this. And is that when the bead comes into play? The bead comes into play, has a nice little tap tap sound, you oh, can yeah. actually hear that, and that's like the mollusks and, and shrimps and, and mussels and things that are making a hell of a lot of noise down there. This sends out a sound, a vibration, the sight, and also in here is UV blast, ultraviolet mm. light, reflects off this so you can see this in the dark depths from a long way away. Snapper can see that, so they see something, hear something, feel the vibration, go over, see that, and it's all over. That's swimming away from them, they gotta take a bite. Right. Oh, and there's one thing, is that when you do, when you're winding away and you just feel this tag, 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 that's often the snapper just grabbing here. All you need to do is just keep that slow wind going and you're teasing that fish up, 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 and then it'll take a bite. And then you got them, there's no escape. Great, and the different colors and sizes? Different colours, different times of day, different uh, feeding patterns with snapper. You've really got to chop, chop and change around. Uh, the different weights for the depths, how fast you're drifting, use a heavier weight. If it's nice and slow in any of the shallows, go down to maybe 20 grams, something like that. So it then has that extra flutter, 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 flutter down through the water column. And that flutter, flutter with those skirts, dynamite. And what sort of size snapper are you catching out on wave dance using these um, lures? Well our top weight on this boat is a 32 pound snapper which is a, a nice snapper. We yeah. also get large kingfish out here, sharks, wow, kawai, John Dory, gurnard, you name right. it. And these will actually catch them all because of this fluttering, dropping motion that it looks like a bait fish or that's in trouble, wrong place at the wrong time, gets nailed. Whereabouts are we going to buy these? Uh, all good fishing stores, they'll be out there now.